factory, they had a very small turbocharger, no intercooler, so when the turbo gets hot... Hey, this is Mad Matt from Budget Boosting. Today we're going to talk about removing and replacing the clutch. Now we're just removing it to get a hold of the rear main seal. That's the reason we're removing this clutch. And we're talking about manual transmissions only here, not the clutch packs inside of an automatic transmission. This is a manual transmission. We're taking off the clutch and the pressure plate, and we're going to take off the flywheel, and we're going to show another example on how to change the rear main seal, because that's the reason we're removing it, and we're going to put the same exact clutch back in it. So the first step is we're going to remove the pressure plate. Things you need clutch alignment tool. This makes sure you get the clutch perfectly aligned when you attach the pressure plate from the flywheel. Because there's bolts here that hold the, fly, the pressure plate on and that holds the clutch in but if you don't have the alignment tool going into the pilot bushing the clutch could go ever so slightly down and you'll have a very hard time trying to align it back in the transmission when you put the engine back in. Now there's a couple ways you can do it. You can take the transmission out and access it under the car to get to your clutch or like we have we had to take the engine out for other reasons so we're doing it with the engine out of the car which is the easiest way for getting to the clutch that is but as far as the work goes it's easier to drop the transmission than drop and pull the engine. So keep that in mind. All right, I'm going to remove the pressure plate, 12 millimeter. Now when you put these back on, you usually don't use this tool to the final torque just to put them on like little bit and you use a torque wrench to torque them on the final way. See how the clutch alignment tool holds the clutch in place. There's the pressure plate. Look at it. There's a little bit of uh, stuff on there, little deposits and what have you, but they'll be okay. A little bit of glazing. What you can do is take a little bit of emery cloth or light sandpaper just to get the scoring off and that will get the flywheel or the pressure plate good to go for the clutch. Take the clutch out and inspect it. Still looks pretty good. A little bit of glazing on the flywheel. So it's a good idea to go over it with a little bit of sandpaper, a little emery cloth to smooth it out again. And that's about it. Other than that, it looks all right. All right, it's time to put the clutch back on. Cleaned up our clutch and pressure plate and flywheel, got all the little deposits and glazing off, so now we're ready to put the clutch back in. So, first you get the clutch alignment tool. See, the clutch alignment tool lines it up by way of this throw-out bushing right here. See that? Throw-out bushing way into the, past the flywheel. It's actually in the crankshaft itself. It's a brass or bronze bushing, and that keeps true alignment of the clutch. So you stick it through the clutch first, then you stick it into the clutch bushing and see how the clutch sticks right in right where you want it. And this is the exact position that you want to put the, the pressure plate on so it will line up again with your pilot shaft on your transmission. We've got a pressure plate. Find its alignment points, which appear to be right here. One. points. Okay, got this point and this point. 
two alignment points that you have to meet. Turn it around again. There we go. Got the clutch alignment points now. Then we slowly start the bolts. Six bolts. Finger tighten them all first. And you can hit it with an impact wrench or tor torque wrench to 20 foot pounds. We're going to hit it with the impact because I know it goes much more than 20 foot pounds and I control the torque of the impact wrench where it's not going to over torque it. But I highly recommend to use a torque wrench. I'm pretty good at sensing torque over the years, but someone that's done this for their first time, don't use an impact wrench, to ju just use an impact wrench to snug them, but use a torque wrench to actually tighten them all the way. 20 foot pounds, but it's different for every clutch, so make sure you look up your torque points for your engine and your clutch. Use your foot pounds torque wrench. Now you pull your clutch alignment tool and double verify it's still lined up good. See it pulls in smooth and out smooth. So your clutch is lined correctly, your bolts are torqued holding your pressure plate to your flywheel. And there you've inspected and reinstalled your clutch assembly. Well, thanks for watching us, Budget Boosting. If you like us, like us on Facebook, like us on YouTube, and check out our Budget Boosting website and our new Budget Boosting stickers. We're going to be selling them really soon. They look great, and they're only 20 bucks a piece with free shipping. We'll be selling them off of eBay Buy It Now auctions. And remember, knowledge is power. It's horsepower. Not a shop will charge you. Close to $200 or more, depending on the shop. Parts and labor, you know. Which is actually pretty reasonable, but there's shops that will charge a lot more than that. Just shop around and do your own research. But it's an easy job to do yourself. It's not hard. Make sure the piston's all the way in, which it appears to be. All right, my new brake pads. All right. And you do them one at a time. This is an example of some bad brake.